modifications to my uh, little Craftsman Atlas lathe. Started out with an AC motor. I switched it over to a two and three quarter horse DC treadmill motor back there. A little housing on the end of it just to keep chips from falling on it. Had to make a pulley adapter there for it. Wasn't any problem on the lathe. Link belt. This is a variable speed controller I bought from eBay. I think there's like 15, 16, 17 bucks total worth of parts in that thing. It's a dimmer switch with a bridge rectifier on the back of it. AC in, AC out, variable speed. And it works like a champ. That back there is a proximity sensor. Hall effect proximity sensor. I'll show you where that is. Right there is a proximity sensor. It's on this gear. There's a magnet on it that comes around. If I can spin it around to see it. I just got it glued on there with, uh, there it is. Put on there with JB Weld. They are polarity sensitive, so you have to put it on there with the polarity that uh, triggers the uh, proximity sensor. And it goes back into this device over here. Got its own little power supply in it with the, the display on it. Um, the other thing I've done to it is these things run the carriage way too fast. I've converted this, according to a guy on um, YouTube, I've forgotten what his name is now. He calls his machine the old gray lady. You can find it that way. But that right there used to be a slide gear. I took the gear that used to be here off, which is, I think it's a 48 tooth, I ordered from Joel Roberts on eBay a 24 tooth gear back there and put them on the shaft right here and meshed them so I've got a two to one gear reduction between this and this so everything on this table right here was twice as many threads per inch and half the speed of this right here if I set this up with E on number nine, it says 4.2 4 thousandths per revolution. It's actually 2.1 thousandths per revolution now because I slowed the shaft down twice. It's also got a uh, Char's um, AXA cutter on it. So basically, It'll run up on the thousand RPM. You see what that thing's spinning at 540 RPM up there, how slow this thing right here is running. Engage the chuck. Under the tail, that thing is just barely creeping. I'll we'll also put a big handle on this thing right here, it makes it a lot easier and more accurate for the cross slide. And just for grams. See how slow the cross slide works too. I'm not cutting anything because I don't want to cut that up right now. I got my 
two pointed the wrong way. That's it. Yeah, I can set this thing at whatever speed I want to, and I can shut the thing off. Unlike the treadmill controller. That's the old treadmill controller up there that I used to use for it. And all of the electronics root are in that brown box right down there. I've got those disconnected and replaced all that with this thing right here. That thing was like 15, 16, 17 bucks. So whatever speed I'm running, I can shut it off there. Turn it right back on and it comes right back. <laughs>